Hey everyone, let's talk about getting this bonsai into another program exported. All right, let's do it. So I've got my main file here, or I should say my main work, and uh, I'm just gonna step through. I obviously have a curve, and then I have the tree controller, and then we got the generator, and then we have our first set of branches, and a second set of branches, and then our leaf generator, and then we have coming down from here I have a delete node which is deleting the trunk okay now this is going into a transform which moves these up and then I have this out leaves node it's just a null that I named out leaves in capital letters and then that just drives into a merge okay let's go here so we would have a you know our, our um, actual out tree so that's going to be the main part and then I have a transform here just moving it to where I want it to be okay and then the same thing a null uh, with capital letters out tree going into the merge and uh, basically I'm calling out to these um, out nodes in these extra geo nodes that I made here we'll get to that in one second um, so I have for my dirt just a grid and then I did a UV projection and it's just uh, an orthographic projection so it's gonna just catch the one side and it's gonna lay it out nicely and then of course um, I have this is actually in the right spot so I didn't need a transform to move it uh, this came I don't know if this came in with my I might have brought this in with my actual um, pottery that I made and my pottery I did in Maya uh, that's going into the merge and then we this is the pottery here so you can see it's file merge so I'm just pulling it from an OBJ it's just so I can see where it's at I got a quick material just to check it make sure everything is good I don't really even need that um, same thing really with with this I don't really need the quick material on the leaves but it's the way I check it uh, it's it's not something I'm gonna ha I'm gonna export or anything like that. The materials don't don't really get exported. Uh, and then all of this is going into merge. And uh, you do see I get a flag right here. That flag is probably like a mismatch attributes or something like that. So let's see, yeah, mismatch attributes inputs was detected. Um, something like curve view resample. That's stuff we don't have to really worry about. That's just stuff that's going on over here in the tree generator. So the merge here for me is just so I can see everything, just so I knew everything was together. But really, this doesn't even get exported. I'm grabbing all of the individual items from here. So if we go first into, I really don't really need the pottery because I already have that. But let's go into like the tree wood. Let me show you what I have in here. Let me turn off this. Now. Okay, so in the tree wood, I have an object merge, and that object merge is just calling out to the address of that tree uh, node or that null node that I have named out tree. So I just went into the listing of the bonsai wave and I go ahead and uh, just, it just grab that one right there. Okay, why am I doing this? I guess is the other question. Well, I wanted to just export this this merge of everything as an FBX, but it wouldn't work. I don't know why, I'm not sure, but it wouldn't work. So I, I figured, hey, I'll just export everything individually as an OBJ because that is working. So to do that, I'm just right clicking here. I go to save geometry and you can see by default it wants to put the .bgo, which is uh, one of Houdini's file types that it can read. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find the place that I'm going to send this. So in this case, I think I have it in my clipboard. So I have it here in my clipboard. I just pasted the address in and then I would go in the geo and then I would say something like this. Like since this is the um, out tree, I can just keep it name that I can just call it out underscore tree. Or I could say like wood or something like that, something that just designates what it actually is. And then I can go ahead and just say 
what file type it is. So let's jump in and find that OBJ. There it is. Okay, now I'm gonna say accept, but let's make sure and check this and just, yeah, okay, so it, it hasn't kept the BGO. So I just wanna make sure that wasn't there. I'm gonna hit accept and it's gonna think for a second and then it should do it. It should send it out and we can check that. Here's our out tree. Ah, see, see, this is the problem. So <laughs> Houdini likes to play a trick on you. You know, I don't know why it does that, but um, let's go ahead and we'll go to the output file here and let's just dial in dot OBJ. Then we hit accept, accept again, and let's bring this over. And lo and behold, it outputs an OBJ. Okay, well, now you understand that that's gonna keep happening unless you change that specifically. And then the rest of these are kind of the same thing. So I just, you know, I have the out um, leaves into here, into this object merge, and then I'm just gonna right click, save, geometry, and of course, um, interesting, It's it's got this name differently, so you're gonna to wanna to change this, you know, how it leaves, something like that, accept, and let it do its business. And then we'll go ahead and bring these into Maya and take a look at what we got. All right, before we jump into Maya though, I just wanna show one other thing. You can isolate like the trunk, the branches, the, you know, the different size branches and, and such, if you want to. I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. So uh, before my leaves, which are right here, I have the branches and I can break the branches off and I'm just using a node for organization here, tree wood. And then I can put a blast in here. Let me show you how this works here. So I have a blast in here and I actually kind of have this <laughs> named wrong. It should be blast level two or it should be like keep level two or something like that. So it'd be like keep level two. And what what I'm doing is I'm selecting in the groups to delete uh, level zero and level one, which leaves level two, which is the smallest branches. So I only have three levels. So what you could do is like you could blast that and then you can see this is all you're getting. And then of course I use the transform. I had to copy the transform over here, the one that I was using on this side to move it up. And I put that in there. And then I just have like an out small branches. So you would do this the same way as I just showed the other stuff, but you can basically isolate each type of branch. So for instance, if I want like the, just the trunk, I can have the trunk uh, by itself and this will allow you to select those things and manipulate those UVs and stuff easier rather than having to do it all, you know, uh, trying to go in and select them, you know, individually, that would be kind of a pain. So in, in case you need this kind of, uh, this kind of like granular type of thing going on, let's see if I select that, yeah. So in case you need this granular thing going on, this is how you would do that. And then of course, just set them up inside of their own uh, export spots and then just export them individually and then bring them in individually. Okay, on to Maya. Welcome to the fresh scene in Maya. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna import and let's go ahead and import the, we'll do the leaves first, why not? Okay, that looks good. I don't know why it's naming it that, but let's change that to leaves okay by the way if you're doing an import and it won't let you rename stuff come to the option box like if you try to change this in the outliner and it won't let you rename it take the uh, use namespaces check mark off of here and then it should let you rename stuff so for instance like I I don't even really need this you know in here it's actually adding that to it but uh, in fact, let me just go like this and then we'll go import and then we can grab the trunk import. There we go. So I just got the single trunk in here 
Oh, and it still added that name. Huh, strange. I wonder if somehow it's named that in coming from Houdini. Not sure why I did that. And then we'll get our other pieces here. Let's see. Here we go. I have the branches small. I'm I'm taking them in individually just so just so there's uh, you know if I need to select these or manipulate the UVs or something like that it'll be easier I can combine them later you know see those nice little branches there import I don't know why Maya can't learn where the import window should go I keep having to move it every single time it's silly okay select that and we'll just copy this paste it call these branches medium and then from here uh, I don't really need to export the pot but just in case I moved it or something like that I went ahead and I re-exported it so as out pottery and then let's get that plane in here which I called out dirt moss so we just want to name these. Make sure you stay, stay organized. It's a good idea, especially as your projects get bigger, it becomes more and more important. So let's see, this is dirt underscore moss, we'll call it. Okay, and I think that's it for this one. Next we'll be jumping into, you know, what can we do with this? as far as UVs and maybe putting a second set of UVs on there. Maybe if you want to add a sculpt to it, what other things can you do? We'll talk about that. All right. Thanks for watching.